2016 is a sluggish year for personal accessories with many macroeconomic factors that continue to plague the economy. These macroeconomic factors range from terrorist attacks in traditional luxury houses in Western Europe to plunging oil prices that is shaking up the Middle East and to the strengthening US dollars. However, despite these macroeconomic factors, personal accessories continue to see a positive growth of 2% this year. What we see within personal accessories in the company movement is Louis Vuitton displacing Richmond as the number one global brand owner in personal accessories and this displacement of Richmond as the number one global brand owner in personal accessories is largely due to the lackluster performance of Richmond and this is due to the lackluster performance of the various brands under Richmond in its respective categories namely in fine jewellery and watches. In 2015, what we see happen in the personal accessories industry is an increased consolidation of market share by key industry players as rising rental rates and sluggish demand continues to weigh down on companies' performance. What we would see happening in 2016 is more of this acquisition and more of this consolidation of market share by key industry players happening and as well as the inculcation of technology in company strategies in order to stay ahead of competition. One notable mergers and acquisitions that happened within the personal accessories industry is the acquisition of Tumi by number one luggage player Samsonite International. Samsonite International announced its 1.8 billion acquisition deal of Tumi, which shows that Samsonite International is continuing its buying spree in 2016 and also is continuing its push for more luxury brands to be added in its portfolio, especially after the acquisition of Hartman back in 2012. Another point to note is an increased inculcation of technology in the brand strategies as technology continues to impact various industries including personal accessories. Following the launch of smartwatch by fashion companies and even luxury houses like Louis Vuitton, Mori Hennessy, what we would see is that there will be an increased impact of technology on the personal accessories industry and an increased inculcation of technology in the brand strategies be it through product developments or the purchase routes of consumers. Additionally, in order to build the company's expertise in wearable electronics, what we see is many of the fashion companies working closely together with technology companies. Companies like Fossil Group even took things a step further in its acquisition of Misfit in order to build its expertise in wearable electronics and to ride on the wave of smart accessories.